हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश एफ एट वार एवा डॉट कॉम वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू टूडे ऑलवेज रिमाइंड मी ऑफ दिस मूवी श्री फोर ट्वेंटी आई कैन सी एम ट्रॉडिंग डाउन द रोड सिंगिंग मेरी जूता है जापानी ये पतलो न इंग्लिस्तानी सर पे लाल टोपी रूसी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी वॉट हैज दिस सॉन्ग गॉट टू डू विथ रूमाली रोटी इट इज ऑल इन दैट लाइन फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी the heart is still very indian i may have traveled around the world and eaten breads ranging from the simplest french croissant to exotic middle eastern naan and then the complex multi grain completely organic all american slightly even brown bread fir bhi aaro when it comes down to dying for a bread dil aakhir finally hai hindustani give me a juicy kebab any day and ask me what i want to eat with it in a blink of an eye i will say rumali roti a rumal is a hindi word meaning handkerchief we all carry handkerchief as a chef even i have a handkerchief always oh my god see a big handkerchief and a big rumali roti that's what you get uh, to eat in the hotels but for you who carries a small handkerchief we are going to make home style rumali roti today to make this rumali roti we need one and a half cup of uh, atta that is a uh, whole wheat flour and then half a cup of uh, maida okay why i added maida is maida has uh, more uh, gluten effect and uh, elasticity so we need that kind of effect on our rumali roti which should spread without tearing easily so i have added both of these uh, flours together add salt and water now you have to make a nice soft dough so just knead your dough a little bit apply some oil what do we make this rumali roti on top of see rumali roti is usually cooked on a rumali thawa a thawa is like a kadai but they put it upside down and they cook it if you don't have a, a rumali thawa you can even use a pan but put it upside on the flame and cook your rumali roti on the top even i don't have a rumali tawa but uh, i have this bowl which is a mixing bowl what i'm going to do i'm going to put it upside down and make a rumali roti on top of this when you put your rumali roti on top of this it can get stuck so the two things we have to do this has to be really hot when you put your uh, rumali roti on top and second thing is we're going to apply uh, a coating of uh, salt and water okay just uh, divide into nice portions and then to make this rumali roti first what you do you make sure the edges are thin because you know when you going to make rumali roti the edges have to be thin because the center expands faster than the edges use lot of flour and uh, take a rolling pin and roll it remember one thing your edges have to be as thin as possible while the center can be little bit thick after you have spread it just let it rest for another few seconds because you know this is going to pull back okay now the art of making rumali roti at this point of time it is not as thin as a rumali but what we are going to do is we are going to take this rumali and then make it thinner this is little bit of a skill you can't make it the first time you think you can but let me show you see this is how we make rumali roti and fry it in the air okay so after you you make it you going to put it in your hand and just spread it little bit and then put it on a tawa so let me show you how we used to practice in college what we used to do is we used to take a kitchen towel slightly wet it with water and then squeeze out and then we going to practice it like this you cannot do as easy as this with your bread dough because if you don't practice it will tear very fast so what we do is we practice it like this see it is very simple put it like this again spread it see this rotation is what makes the bread thinner that is the reason why i was telling you the center part has to be thick and the edges have to be thin because whenever you do this it is going to stretch in the center part 
and that's how you make rumali roti and now throwing it in the air see once you start practicing little bit throw it up like this and catch it see i put a high flame underneath and then i put my ball on top in no time this will be hot i'm going to take some water add salt and then mix this water with salt we are going to coat this tawa with uh, salt water okay see now our rumali roti is ready okay without tearing it okay slowly throw it in the air and catch it and then slowly spread it up and put it on the top the tawa is really hot you have to be very careful it will have cook it in just few seconds so when it is cooked on one side put it on the other side coach so your rumali roti is ready huh? if any part is not cooked just put it on the tawa little bit our rumali roti is ready okay now let's make the rumali roti yahoo 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 see that's how you make your rumali roti fly it in the air and uh, when it is thin in the air just take it put it on top of tawa and watch it in no in few seconds it will be the rumali roti will be ready see it is cooking at all edges wow look at this look at this look at this pull it out and uh, roll the edges thinna let's see one more time all you do is take this rumali like this like this like this throw it in the air catch it okay it come with little bit practice see i haven't made a rumali roti in a long while but you know this rumali roti is coming okay look at this look at this look at this beautiful okay okay see for all those people who cannot do this flying in the air you can use a rolling pin also and make it thin when i was in baroda one of my friend kavita bhat her mom used to make the thinnest chapati i have ever eaten they are as thin as a rumali roti so if you cannot you know swing it in the air and all that you can roll it very thin you know slowly take your time and uh, not everybody can be as uh, technically skilled like kavita's mom but uh, you know we can always uh, take little time slowly and make the roti thin one more rumali roti okay look at this so fly it in the air catch it isn't it so easy see so and then put it on top okay see beautiful it won't take long just a few seconds on top of the tawa it has to be really be hot only then your uh, rumali roti will come soft see if the tawa is cold your rumali roti is going to be uh is not going to be as uh, soft as it is here okay ah! okay now my rumali roti is ready here man now i want kebab kebab where is my kebab i didn't you know i promised my vegetarian friends that 10 recipes are going to be vegetarian and i have rumali roti i need a kebab okay rumali roti is definitely the thinnest bread in the whole world and by my definition it is the tastiest bread in the whole world i hope you have enjoyed today's session of making the thinnest bread in the world tell me if you have managed to fling it in the air without tearing the dough and also tell me if you have made it thin enough to enjoy it melting in your mouth i suggest a lot of people who have just started to learn cooking don't go try make this uh, rumali roti because this needs little more skill set and i don't want you to be disappointed that you could not make it so take little time when you are able to make good chapatis good pulkas good puris then graduate and make rumali roti also remember that varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking thank you